Now you're mentioning 1910, 1920 when this stuff starts to get funny. Is that because of Einstein? Is it because also we were able to start to measure things a little bit closer and we started having access to nucleuses and soon to be atomic bombs? Yeah, very like much, that. you know, almost all the great revolutions in physics are driven by better data one way or the other, right? Better experiments. And there were two ideas that really bugged people in the early days of the 20th century. One was what's called uh, black body radiation. So if you just take an object and you heat it up to some temperature, there's a wonderful feature that every object, no matter what color it is, no matter what shape it is, no matter what material it's made of, if it's at a constant temperature, like you put it in an oven and heat it up, it glows in exactly the same way, every single object. And there's a very, very clear spectrum that it has, a certain amount of red light, a certain amount of blue light, et cetera. So you can try to predict that theoretically using the tools that you had in the year 1900 and you get it wildly wrong. So Max Planck comes along and he says, well, maybe when the light is emitted, even though it's light, even though our friends here in England, like uh, Maxwell and Faraday told us that light is a wave in the electromagnetic field, maybe when it's emitted, even though it's a wave, it's emitted in little chunks, right? Like a little bit here, a little bit there, rather than smoothly and continuously. And with that out of the blue idea, he fit the data perfectly. But everyone's like, well, what does that mean? And it was Einstein who actually said, you know, the difference is the following. Uh, uh, Planck said the equivalent of, I have a coffee maker that gives me coffee in one cup increments all the time, okay? I push the button, I get one cup of coffee, and that's one little photon, one little particle of energy. And Einstein came along and says, coffee only exists in one cup increments. <laughs> so he said that it's not just that light is emitted by a hot object, one particle at a time, but light is particles, is what he said, okay. which is sort of completely incompatible with everything we thought we had figured out in the 1800s. So that's the first sort of particle versus wave-like thing. And then this thing with the atoms, the electrons in the atoms, people were like, why don't electrons fall in? And uh, Louis de Burley, a French physicist, said, well, if Einstein says waves can be like particles, maybe the particles, the electrons, can be like waves. Right. And then that also worked, but you know, it was clearly a sign that something was moving toward the same direction, but reconciling everything took more years than that. Mm -hmm.